Some scooters are all about going fast, while others are built for range. Some scooters are meant for daily commuting, and others are all about fun. This scooter, it's meant for all of that and more. Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today we're reviewing the Apollo Explore electric scooter. This thing goes over 30 miles an hour, and we're gonna have some fun. The Apollo Explore electric scooter packs a lot to love in one 52 pound or 23 kilo scooter. First of all, this thing is fast. They say it's a 31 mile per hour or 50 kilometer per hour scooter, but I was often hitting speeds slightly higher than that on flat ground, to the tune of 32 or 33 miles per hour, checked using GPS. So chalk one up for high speed, if that's what you're into. The scooter can hit those speeds thanks to its 1000 watt motor that is putting out closer to 1.4 kilowatts of peak power. It's also capable of regenerative braking, combined with the dual-wheel disc brakes, which bring the scooter to a stop quickly. Next, the battery is just shy of 950 watt-hours, which is around 1.5 to 2 times the size of a typical e-bike battery, and 2 to 4 times the size of a typical electric scooter battery. That's enough capacity for over 30 miles or 50 kilometers of range, easily. In fact, many riders could likely get away with charging just once or twice a week, depending on how long their city commutes are. The Apollo Explore also has great suspension, especially in the rear. The front stem suspension is fine, nothing too fancy, but the rear hydraulic suspension works great and is a definite comfort improvement, not to mention that it helps absorb the road shock and thus reduce wear on the scooter components. The suspension is enough to get a bit carried away and have some serious fun on the scooter. Between the high power, fast speed, and long range battery, the Apollo Explore is definitely into the performance category of electric scooters. This isn't just a quick little commuter scooter, it's a scooter that you could actually ride hard every day as a full-time commuter vehicle. It even has the light package necessary for if your commute ever gets you caught out late at night. Between the multiple headlights and taillights, the stem lighting, and the under deck lighting, there's absolutely no way anyone could miss you on the road. Obviously most of us are going to be scooting during the day, but it's nice to know that when you get caught out after dark, you've got enough lighting to be able to get home safely. When it comes to scooters, it's all about being seen by other drivers. One thing I haven't been able to test out yet is the warranty, though that's a good thing. The scooter feels solidly made, and Mac from Apollo tells me that it actually goes through three rounds of QC before getting to customers. I'm sure that's because they want to be positive the customers get a safe and well-made scooter, but it's also because they have a warranty that extends up to 24 months, and if they don't want to go broke, then they better well be providing scooters that can last that long. From the folding mechanism on the stem, to the handlebar folding, and everywhere else, the scooter just feels well put together. Nothing is janky, or rattles, or feels like it could fall apart. I mean, if it did, I wouldn't be riding this thing at over 30 miles an hour. But it feels nicely made, which is important when you're spending over a thousand bucks on a scooter. Oh yeah, that brings me to the price. At $1,249, this obviously is not a cheap scooter. But the price is actually quite good when you compare the specs to others in this class. There aren't a lot of scooters between 25 to 40 miles an hour, so the Apollo Explorer is a good gap filler, and the price matches the industry. If there was one upgrade I'd be interested in, it would probably be hydraulic disc brakes. The mechanical disc brakes work fine, but I know that eventually I'm going to have to start messing with the cable after a few hundred miles or so and tighten the brakes. It's not a huge deal, but juice brakes just mean less maintenance, which is always a win in my book. But to be honest, for 30 plus mile per hour speed, 30 plus mile range, nearly one and a half kilowatts of peak power, plus suspension that works well, this scooter is more than fairly priced and the specs are great for what you're getting. There are tons of scooters out there, and that can lead to decision paralysis for many of us. I'm not going to say the Apollo Explorer is the best scooter out there, because I don't even know how you judge that, but it is a great scooter at a good price, and I think anyone who tries one will absolutely be satisfied with it. And the fact that it could probably eat little Xiaomi scooters for breakfast is just icing on the cake. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Apollo Explorer electric scooter. If you enjoyed the video, why don't you give it a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out all of Electrek's electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.